When we designed the mountain cottage and decided its placement on the land, one of the things we did without even thinking about it was creating a little microclimate with this L shape behind us. It's the beginning of April. We're located in Canada. Our nights are still getting down below freezing every night. Cold nights are probably still hitting minus 10. We're up in the mountains. But I want to show you what's happening in these beds and we're actually going to construct cold frames for these areas because I think we could do cold weather greens, get them growing in these beds already. So let me flip the camera around and show you what I'm seeing that's making me think this might just be a good idea. So this is our front entrance and what I am seeing is my Egyptian walking onion is growing. We've got lots of orach or auric, I'm not sure how you say it, but all these little greens and purple plants in here. We've got more coming in here. These were all just self-seeded and they are going nuts. They're popping up all over the place. And then over in this bed, we've got mint popping through. So the mint is starting to come up. Here we go. Lots of little ones at the back wall of the house over here. We've got a lot of little chocolate mints coming up. Okay, I do not know if this is going to work. Our nighttime temperatures might still be getting too cold, but the fact that some self-seeded greens are coming up and some herbs, that makes me think it's time and we could get away with it. And if we put cold frames up, we could probably have a supply of greens by the end of the month. So that is what we're going to do. So first things first, I'm gonna weed these beds and then we're gonna design and build some little movable greenhouse frames or cold frames would be a better term for it. So let's go get busy. Time to start making our cold frames. I took today to off from everything else to be able to build these. I pulled out the saws out of the power shed. I set everything up and then I texted my man to ask about a tape measure. And guess what? They're all in the van with him at work. So do you think I can build with a, a sewing tape? There's only three feet of length here, but we're going to give it a shot. And one way or another, we're going to get these frames built. pieces cut. Let's see what this seamstress can do. No promises about squareness or straightness 
or any of that. But I will say they're ready to go and it's time to put down some plastic. not perfect but decent so we're gonna fasten a board to this flap so we can lift it up and then this is gonna be the grow space underneath and these are all going right up against these two walls of the house going to pull up our covers and let the soil warm up underneath. I ran out of staples so I didn't quite get all of our wooden covers finished, but we're real close. We need to put a little bit of mulch in these beds and then they're done. And hopefully, hopefully that will be enough. Now ordinarily before you put anything out you're supposed to harden it off which means you put it outside in the direct sun in um, the cooler temperatures for short amounts of time starting with about maybe two hours and then you're supposed to work up but because these are cold frames I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna go straight for it so let's grab ourselves some lettuces yeah, we got two types of lettuce and two types of kale, so we're gonna go at that. Just gonna make sure these are doused in not cold, cold water, more like um, lukewarm water. And then we'll take them out and plant them and water them there again with lukewarm water. 